Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of Cali Meets NYC, a New Jersey based home fragrance company. And I make videos all about candle making, fragrance hauls, and a life in between. So I'm back to you with another fragrance haul. This time by Lark Artisan Supply. They are a Canadian based company. They sell soap supplies and then camel making supplies, of course. So I was scrolling through my Instagram, looking at my followers, looking at who I'm following, and I'm like, oh, this supply company, I think I followed them away a long time ago and then I just never tried them because there were so many, I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed with all these supplies. So I went on their site right after Christmas and because they're a Canadian company, they were having a Boxing Day sale. And all of their one ounce fragrances were buy one, get one free. So I, I was on their site trying to stock up. And then looking at their site, they had a lot of dupes. And I'm talking about a good old mixy dupe. And they were some of the fragrances that I use. So I'm, you know, I'm putting, I'm throwing everything into the cart. I'm so excited to share with you what I bought. So let's get into it. These are first sniffs, first impressions. I'm also going to compare uh, the, the dupes that I have currently in my line to what they have to see if it's comparable because I will be making some tester candles to see if I could switch over. All right, so we're gonna start out with a fan favorite, Vanilla Santal and Shea Butter. Um, I know, and this is a makesy, Mixie sells this one. Uh, I will be reading the fragrance notes and everything. It's inspired by, they say it's inspired by Wet n Wet Co, which is now Mixie. So it's labeled as a sweet, nutty, and sexy combination of creamy shea butter, vanilla, and luxurious sandalwood. I know what it should smell like if it's inspired by the vanilla Santal and Shea Butter from Mixi. So, let's see. Oh my gosh. And it does, it does, it does, it does. It smells. And I have the bottle of that Wood and Wicko's bottle. This is, this is like spot on. I don't smell a difference. So I will be excited. I This is actually not in my candle line. Well, actually it's part, I blend it with something else for a Valentine's Day candle. Um, but it is a part of our body butter. So I'm really excited to try this out to see if it goes well. So if you've never smelt the Vanilla Santal and Shea Butter, I would implore you to go and try this out from Lark um, Artisan. The top notes are Valencia Orange, Nutmeg, Lily, Tonka Bean, or, excuse me, middle notes are Tonka Bean, Shea Butter, Coconut Cream, and the bottom or base is Raw Honey, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood. And it smells divine. I'm just going to give you price comparison because that obviously will make a big, big difference in why you would choose to switch over to a Canadian company. So the one pound from Mixi is $59.95 versus Lark Artisan is $39. Now it's still going to be a little bit more pricier, but when I first started using Wood & Wit Co., $39 was where I was, I think that's what I was paying for, the vanilla Santal and shea butter. Um, so that is something I'm excited to try. And obviously these things are, well, 
be helpful to bring down your COGS and you know you would have better profit margins. So let me move on to another dupe that I have. And this is actually a fan favorite, if I could find it. It's the Lavender and Yulang. <clears throat> this is a fan favorite in my collection. I mix it with another fragrance, but it is a base for my lavender. The Lavender Yulang, the description is Distinct lavender, beautifully balanced with sweet yuling, yuling, and grassy vetiver, I think. That's the same description Mixie has, too. Uh, so the top notes are lavender, the middle notes are yuling, yuling, and cedarwood, and the base is a vetiver. So very simple, but very impactful. Let's see how this compares. I'm really excited because this is one of my best sellers and I am running low. Oh, honey. This smells, this smells just like it. And I have it to compare. So this is the Wooden Wicko. I, don't, I I switch usually switch my tops over to flip tops. So if you see that, those are not originally mixy. Open it. This smells exactly like it. I'm super excited to try this in a candle to try it everywhere actually, because it, if it could get my cogs down, I'd be super, super excited. So, price comparison, let's see, $55.95 from Mixi, and it is currently on Lark Artisan, $39. I would say that is definitely a quite, a, quite a savings, okay? Quite, quite a savings. So, also too, what I'm trying to do is get most of my supplies coming from, well, I guess condensing down where I buy my fragrance oil supplies from. So, the next one is a dupe. It is by Rados Bibliotech. It is, the description is a lavish fragrance that refreshes the spirit of wisdom through top notes of peach and plum before revealing in its heart of peony and violet. This is laid upon a foundation of leather, patchouli, vanilla, and a musk. So this smells just like the bibliotheque that I have as a dupe, it's it's by Scent Memory, the dupe that I have. And this, this smells spot on. Now, I've never smelled the original by Rado Bibliotheque, so I don't know if that particular one is, the Scent Memory one is spot on, but this one is spot on to the Scent Memory one. I'm going to just Smell it for comparison. I think it smells pretty spot on. Now, as far as price comparison, the Scent Memory one is cheaper. The Scent Memory one is $36. The Bibliotech on Lark Artisan is $39, but I'm willing to forgive that you know, as long as I can condense my shipping because what I would be saving in shipping because the bibliotech from Scent Memory is the only thing I buy there. So I would be saving on shipping, essentially by condensing a lot of my oils. So these other ones that I bought, I do not, I don't know if they're dupes from other companies or what have you or if they're, 
original. I have never smelt these ones before, so I these are definitely all for sniffs. And I'm excited. So when I was on Lark Lark's website, I was looking for more woodsy scents because I wanted to I want to add more woodsy scents into our line. So a lot of them are going to have some mas masculine notes or woodsy notes to them. So I'm excited. Here we go. I'll start with the sweeter ones first and then we can move into the woodsier ones. So this is Tapello Honey and Crushed Almond. It's described as the sweet and soft essence of an almond macaroon and it's captured in this warm, friendly fragrance. So I'm really excited because I, I love macaroons. Oh, this is beautiful. And it has this really nice sweetness of honey. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. I don't know if you smelled um, Mad Tea Party from Scent Memory, but this kind of will, this will play nicely with it. Um, I feel like it would go in a line together. So this would be like a macaron and that could be like a lavender macaron. This will be an almond one and almond and honey. It would play nicely in a collection together. Uh, the notes are, the top notes are fresh, coconut water, sugar cane, and steamed milk. The middle notes are crushed almond, harvest oats, whipped molasses. The base is tapello honey, maple bark, and shea nut. And this is beautifully soft and sweet. And you, that honey just the honey, it's not too nutty, um, but it, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. So we're going to go into Matcha Bueno. And I have been looking for a really nice matcha fragrance. Now, because I am a matcha tea drinker i am very particular about this fragrance it needs to me it needs to smell grassy it needs to be slightly sweet but very grassy if that makes sense with green tea so it's described as a vibrant citrus notes give away to an herbal tea heart Patchouli comes together with woody notes in the base, leaving behind a warm, sophisticated aroma. So I'm really excited to try this one, Matcha Bueno. Hmm. Hmm. This is not what I thought it was going to smell like. It smells, it smells kind of like a cologne. So I, it might be a dupe to something. We'll see. Um, the top notes are citrus. The middle notes are herbal tea. The base notes are patchouli wood and woody. And I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that one because that's not exactly how I thought it was going to smell. I definitely thought it was going to be, I don't know, but that's not how I thought it was going to smell. 
So we're going to go into wind and watermelon. And so of course, it to me, it should smell fruity, a little bit water watery because watermelon is, I feel like watermelon doesn't necessarily have a scent. Um, it's, so we'll see. It's, <laughs> the description is fade away into an, into the exotic notes of juicy watermelon accompanied by the ocean air and ethereal musk. So we'll go into it. Oh, this is summer. This is very, very summery and this is very, very summery. The top notes are watermelon, peach tea, the middle notes are ocean air, freesia, base is musk and cedar wood, and it smells very summery. It's, <laughs> it just bumped. It smells so summery. You smell the top notes of watermelon. And the funny thing is I just said that I don't think watermelon has a smell, but it, it does. It does, and it smells like that. So we are down to our last four and very excited, very excited for these four. And let's go into Crimson. So last, the last ones are more woodsy notes and I'm very excited to try these. Crimson is described as Warm, musky scent with hints of cinnamon and clove on a background of exotic musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. Hmm. This smells nice lovely okay I feel like this particular scent I have something that's similar into in my collection and this would actually be a really nice replacement um because it has a lot of things that the other one has I feel like this smells a lot nicer a lot nicer it is the top notes are citrus, the middle notes are cl is clove, tobacco, floral. The base is a vanilla, patchouli, and sandalwood. And this is a very, very beautiful um, woodsy fragrance. I'm excited, that is, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. And oh, that is so beautiful. So I decided to pick up, so teakwood and vetiver. I'm a big fan of vetiver. Vetiver is not um, a fragrance that is everybody's taste, but it's very, very grassy. It, it can, it's a really nice blender. So if you get a really nice vetiver and you blend it with a couple of things, it can, it can bring out the best in fragrances. I, I had this amber and vetiver candle that I was obsessed with. I don't even remember where I got it from. And it was gorgeous, okay, gorgeous. And I burnt that thing to the bottom. Um, this is teakwood and vetiver. It's described as subtle notes of teakwood, desert sandalwood, and crisp bergamot. Clean lavender blends together with citrusy notes, citrusy notes, to enhance and complete this fragrant, this elegant fragrant accord. Ooh, okay. Mm. 
This definitely smells like a men's cologne. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm not a fan of cologne fragrances and candles. I don't like it. I don't like cologne fragrances and candles. I don't like perfumey fragrances and candles. Why? Because sometimes when you burn them, it could be very, it could be too overpowering. Um, and it, it's just not, <laughs> not my taste. Not my taste. Um, I really wanted to love this one, but I'm going to pass. The top notes are teakwood, lavender, the middle notes are sandalwood, bergamot, the base is lemon, vetiver, and cedarwood. We are going to ignore all the background noise. I'm not sure if I like that one at all. Um, in a clone, yes and a candle now. So on to whiskey and oak. So they also had a bourbon, what is that bourbon and, bourbon and whiskey. And I really want to try that one, but it's actually going to be retired. So I didn't think that it made sense to buy it. So we're going to stick with the whiskey and oak. Whiskey and oak is rich woods and whiskey notes come together in this cozy, bold, rugged fragrance. So this is beautiful. This, honey, ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Now this kind of, kind of smells like a cologne, but it doesn't lean so cologne-y. It's really nice. I feel like you can have, a, it's really nice to have like a cigar and just like sit with this, not that I smoke. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Mm. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, it's sweet, but it's, it's sweet, but it's not. And I think the sweet notes are coming from the oak because you know how when, like, when you have alcohol or, well, liquor, just sitting in the oak barrels and it has it picks up those woody and sweeter notes from whatever wood that it's in oh my gosh this is gorgeous i i really like this the top notes are sherry the middle note is whiskey and the bottom notes woods so it it smells gorgeous and I really like it it it's not too sweet and it's not too woodsy it would it's a nice perfect middle and I have another one that is a really nice middle one um and this might be something to either compete with it I have to see I I like to put everything together and just I have to see Okay, so the last one, the very last one is black tie and bourbon. So, uh, it's described as this light scent is an exceptional blend. Fresh bergamot intertwines with the resinous tonalites of Tonalites of dark oak and burnt woody notes, aromatic woody notes blend into hand, enhance, to enhance and complete this fragrance accord. Let's 
smell this. This is the very last one. Oh. Okay, they weren't. They weren't kidding when they said light. Oh, this is like, this is something you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even think it is complex. This is beautiful. It, the top notes are oak. The middle notes are bergamot, woody notes, jasmine. The bottom notes, oak, musk patchouli and bourbon and this I uh, my it is beautiful I'm so excited to try all these um the only I only have two that I really don't like too much is the matcha bueno and the teakwood and vetiver um but their prices are pretty pretty reasonable they're all like 34 to 39 dollars per pound so you know if you're comparing if if you're comparing that to macy prices it's really good um if you're comparing it to like candle science obviously candle science is more reasonable um it ranges in my price range i always like to say under 40 42 is my top 42 is my top per pound um, of fragrance oil. And this is, this is beautiful. I'm really interested to try them out in wax. And who knows, you can probably play with the percentages. I'm so excited to try these fragrances out. I'm so excited that I bought like Edison Supply and that they came in. They're all the way from British Columbia. So I think, I think I read Vancouver on there. I think I read Vancouver. Um, so I'm really excited. And if you are in Canada, definitely try them out. If you are in the U.S., try them out. It is amazing. I also think above a certain price, yep, above $250, they offer free shipping to Canada and USA. So if you're buying bulk oil or a whole bunch of fragrance oil. They also saw wax, wax and wicks too. So there you go. So that is the end for my fragrance haul review from Lark Supply, Lark Artisan Supply. I can't wait to try most of these in wax, especially the dupes. So if you like videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, bye.